Hey, guys and girls, we are back with Let's Play Fire Emblem. Um, yeah, so, where we left off, we were hunting for, um, for Roy, and we got Roy in our party now. Here he is here. Roy came at level 11. He didn't come with anything else, really. I'll show you this. Here's Roy. It says he's a combat professional with high stats all around. Wield swords. Looks nothing like Roy, but, you know, character design really isn't going to be that specific. So we have Roy and Prince Marth. The Lord. Though unless he's a load star, it's his, it's his class, whatever that is. Prince Martha's a little bit more detailed compared to, the, to Rory, but, you know, you can't complain. Um, we're gonna go to the side mission part, so, next. Let's see what this is. Chapter 5, The Exalt and the King. Uh, oh, this isn't the side mission? I thought it was. Who are they? What's this? Then, the exalt herself in all her radiance. I fear I must shield my eyes. <laughs> King Gangrel, I've come for the truth of this unfortunate incident between us. <laughs> the truth? Oh, look, it's the chick from the, the other realm. I can give you the truth. Perhaps, my lady. Might first share you her name. You may call me. Oh, okay, she thought. Very well, Aversa. Is Mary about unharmed? Who? Oh, yes, the little blonde brat. <sighs> Man, you let her go. Unhand me. You're gutter born troglodyte. Mary about. Lisa, darling, is that you? This girl crossed the Plegian border without our consent, and what's more, she wounded the brave Plegian soldiers who sought only to escort her safely no. home. Lies! You speak nothing but lies, hag! Did they not teach the meaning of the word truth in wretched crone school? <laughs> you see, no manners at all. Such a nasty little bird simply had to be caged. Such a violent temper speaks to her guilt, so this will call for a weighty punishment. And if she were to later confess to being an being an Ulysses spy, okay, to being an to being a Ulysses spy, my goodness, it would take an act of considerable good faith for repair to repair our relations. I have done nothing wrong. Is it? It is they who should confess. They are the ones who invaded Ulysses. They raised an entire village. When I attempted to intervene, they took me and dragged me across the border. Let the plundered shops and charred homes of that village serve as my proof. That would only prove Ulysses has abandoned the problem, something I hear oft of late. But indeed, tonight I shall weep salty tears into my pillow for your dead villagers. Your grace, please. Peace, Maribel. I believe you. King Gangrel, I request that you release this woman at once. Surely you and I can sort this out, sort out these affairs without the need for hostages. Without so much as an apology, why should I even bother with Parley? I'm within my rights to have her head this instant and be home in time what? for supper. You black, you black-hearted devil! Control your dog, my dear, before he gets some hurt. <laughs> Now that you're graceless, graceless, perhaps we can arrange a trade. You give me the fire emblem, and I return Mary Contrary here in one piece. Oh, she has the fire emblem? There it is. It's missing some jewels, though. You would ask for Ulysses' royal treasure, but why? Because I know the legend. The fire emblem is the key to having all one's wishes realized. I have desired it for years, years, yet my birthday comes and goes and you hear nothing from Ulysses. 
The emblem's power is meant for a single purpose, King Gangrel. To save the world and its people at their hour of most desperate need. Would you claim a more noble wish? I want what every Pledgian wants, a grisly end for every last Felician. What could be more noble than that? Really? That's it? Surely you have not forgotten what the last exalt did to my people. Your father named those heathens. His crusade across Pledgian butchered countless of my subjects and my kin. I have never denied Ulysses' past wrongdoings, but I have sworn to never repeat those mistakes. Ours is now a realm of peace. Yours is now a haven of hip hypocrisy. Now give me the fire emblem. No, your grace. I'd sooner die than act as a bargaining chip for this filthy reprobate. <sighs> no, Mary Abel. Ugh. Talk, 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 talk. It's time to speak louder than words. This negotiation is over. Your luminosity. I shall have the emblem if I have to pry it from your shiny dead hands. Uh -oh. Oh, there's the war. Think again. Stay back, or you'll suffer the same fate. Now that's a declaration of war if I've ever heard one. A big, messy war that will bleed you, Ulysses. Dry, bruh. It's gotta be done. Can't can't go through peace no more. It's better just to eliminate these guys from being a pain. Oh, really no. now. Poor stupid girl, you're really worth fighting a war over. Years from now, you'll be remembered only as she who destroyed House Ulysses. No. No, that's not... Oh, Lisa. Please, no. Whoa. Hey, look who it is. The little mage dude. Maribel, go, you're free. Riken, what are you doing here? Just run. We'll talk about it later. Oh, is this your little boyfriend? Isn't he Don't just talk precious? Down to me. Witch! <laughs> oh, snap. You can, w we win magic. Again. Come on, Maribel. Right. Awesome. Why couldn't they do that before he, like, attacked the other? Wretched well by shit. No, our soldiers have them outnumbered. The brats won't be dead long before they can reach their comrades. Really? That's gonna suck. So they're gonna be outnumbered. Um, take Vike out for now. I want I want an archer in this one. Take Liu out. And we're gonna put in Um We'll put in Sully. Right, we'll go with this squad. <laughs> I have my war. Captain Orton, remain here and take down as many Ulyssians as you can. You can expect reinforcements from the fort as well. Now do your best at doing your worst, bruh. <laughs> oh. right. And they do outnumber us like crazy. Where are um, those two at? There they are. Alright. We gotta get up there and help out. Twice to his seven. This will do. Ah, did I? I forgot to mention that I learned while grinding up levels that you can be in first person view, so you can see these attacks and as they strike you, which is pretty cool. I like it. I do like it. I don't, you know, I'll, I'll probably play side by side, but I just wanted to show this off because you can move the screen during these little modes too, which is pretty awesome. So I attack twice. Oh, critical too. Nice job, Frederick. 66. Go out here, grab this. Not my 
proficiency. She's got mend, which is a heal. We'll have her over there. She's a horse healer too, so she's a cavalry. I should have probably wrote, put the, uh, the duty with her like riding, but that's. Um, so we got a few dudes on this side. Well, on one dude on this side. I'll send Frederick in and leave him to take care of that. Marth. Marth can move a long distance, so we can have him come up here. And the healer will be back here. Alright, let's see what they got. Ow. 